The cryptocurrency market definitely feels like we are in the midst of an altcoin season. High caps, low caps, everything in between is popping off left, right and center. However, there is a select few coins which are not doing jack. They are not moving, they are actually dipping against their Bitcoin value and have been for some time. So in today's video, I wanna take a look at some patterns of these poorly performing altcoins so that we don't get left stuck holding bags of altcoins after this alt season is over. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. My name is Jason Pizzino. If you enjoy the content on the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button down below and the bell notification icon Plus all, YouTube has a way of shadow banning cryptocurrency content at the most important times. So unless you've hit all, you won't see it come through. Lastly, if you also find some great value from the content, let me know by hitting that like button down below. Let's see if we can get the video to 1000 likes as it helps the channel out and push the content to more people out in the YouTube space so they can get a hold of this information too. All right, with that said, let's take a look at our coin market cap and get into our top eight, which aren't taking part in alt season. Let's apply those patterns moving forward. So what we can see today, we are at 1.2 trillion US dollars for the market cap. It looks like we have broken past the resistance in the overall market cap. And Bitcoin is still only at around 39,000. So we haven't even passed our all time high yet. That's a great sign because it looks like a hell of a lot more money is coming into the space and it's not going into Bitcoin first, or at least not staying in Bitcoin. Now we see Ethereum also up tremendously over the last seven days, 23% going gangbusters, so obviously a lot of money is pouring into Ethereum as well. This doesn't come as any surprise to you guys, but I'm not a financial advisor. I go through, do my study, do my research, and then present it online in an educational format. So if you wanna look into this a little bit further, I highly suggest you do do your own research. With that said, let's take a look at the first cryptocurrency. And these are in, not in any order from the worst to the best. They're all poorly performing and I don't have an emotional attachment to any of them. Many of them I have held in the past, but I've had to dump them because of this pure pattern, which is not serving me in my investment portfolio. So if I wanna be increasing my investment portfolio, I need to ditch the crap. Remember our saying on the channel is hit it and quit it. If it's not serving you, quit it. First up is Ethereum Classic. Now the main thing we're gonna be looking at all of these charts is the yellow line. The yellow line is the Bitcoin value against the cryptocurrency. And as you can see pretty clearly, very easily, is that the Bitcoin value has been degrading over time and continues to degrade. I bring this one up because this has been around a long time. Ethereum Classic has been around for years and many new people that come into the space, which I understand are a lot of new people on the channel, it's first time into cryptocurrency, may see Ethereum Classic, because it still is around on many of the brokerage platforms, and think that this could be an alternative to the other Ethereum, the Ethereum that's at 1600 US dollars. This is not, these are two different projects, and unfortunately for Ethereum Classic, it is not getting the same love as many other cryptocurrencies. Now, we don't want to get tied up with the US dollar value, which is going to be the green line on all of these charts. Across the next eight cryptocurrencies, we are mainly interested in the yellow line. The yellow line is the Bitcoin value against the cryptocurrency. The green line is the US dollar value. But if we see the yellow line dropping, that just means that we are losing Bitcoin value and we would be better off just holding Bitcoin as opposed to risking it holding some of these altcoins which are unproven. So. Very clearly, very quickly, we can see that Ethereum Classic is dumping against its Bitcoin value. It's holding its US dollar value and ranging between say four and $10. But in the same time, Bitcoin has forexed and for Ethereum Classic, it has gone nowhere. So we need to really take into consideration the Bitcoin value itself. Ethereum Classic, a classic for dumping against Bitcoin value. So that's one that I personally stay away from. Next up is IOTA. I don't have an emotional attachment to any of these coins, nor should I have an emotional attachment to my portfolio. The main purpose is to increase my portfolio value. So if I get emotionally attached, it really skews the way I think about the coins. So just think about that before you get a little bit too wrapped up in a project. As a note, I have these charts on a logarithmic scale, so you can see the vast falls compared to their overall highs or their all time highs. IOTA is another one of those cryptos which is just getting absolutely crushed against its Bitcoin value. However, this may be a surprise later on 
in the cryptocurrency bull market because we are looking like we're starting to see a higher swing low on the Bitcoin value. You can see this also on the green value that has been heading up. But overall, during this period where we've seen a lot of 10x, 5x, 20x growth in new cryptocurrencies against a Bitcoin value, IOTA has been going negative since August of last year. And we're now in February, six months of a continued downtrend against Bitcoin value. And it's barely been able to hold its US dollar value from that same point. We know from this period in the last six months, many coins have shot up 200, 400, 1000 percent, even though this chart against US dollar value looks like it's heading up. Remember, other altcoins have been pumping during this time. So if we were holding IOTA during this period, we have lost out tremendously on our portfolios. So we're starting to see the pattern. This is just continued downtrend, although there might be some news going out that's saying the currency is good. There's stuff happening in the project. The chart is showing a very, very different picture. And the belief in the background is that it can't do it. Not my words. It's just the data that I'm seeing on the charts. When you see a downtrend, looks like things are heading down. And this is a continued downtrend while the rest of the market is very, very positive. With that said, let's move across to our next coin and that is Zcash. I was a very big holder of Zcash. I love the privacy space. I think it is a very big part of cryptocurrency and it's going to be very important in the future. But also Zcash is looking extremely terrible against its Bitcoin value. With that as well, that US dollar value hasn't really moved too much. We can see it ranging between 40 and $100, currently sitting at about 95, 96. But the Bitcoin value is still down. I think there are other projects out there which are doing a lot better in the privacy space. And unfortunately, Zcash is paying the toll. Their Bitcoin value on the slide again, while the rest of the market has been pumping. The point here is if we had a positive market and uh, sector or stocks themselves, in this case cryptocurrencies, are not performing while the rest of the market is positive, they are laggers and probably should not be in our portfolios. That is just going from the pure data here. We want to be using investment vehicles which are moving. These vehicles are not moving, they're going backwards. So if you want to be going backwards, jump aboard. If you want to be going forwards, you need to find something else. Let's have a look at our next one and that is Bitcoin SV. Now the community with SV is pretty okay, decent, big, not in a good way. I think there's a lot of maximalism going on with Bitcoin SV. Unfortunately for those holders, and if any of them sold out their Bitcoin to buy Bitcoin SV, they have lost out a lot. You can see this chart has just pumped and absolutely dumped and it doesn't look like it's recovering anytime soon. The highest point against Bitcoin value was somewhere around January of last year. And that was at 0.036. So it was 3.6% of Bitcoin, Bitcoin's value. Currently, it is less than a percent, basically half a percent of Bitcoin's value. And I can only see this falling over time as more people come into the space and these become less relevant. With that, let's move across to our next, and that's Bitcoin Cash. Again, there's a huge community behind Bitcoin Cash, but it doesn't look like they are holding yet. Now, that's not to say that these won't have pumps, all of these coins. It's not that they say they won't have any pumps throughout the bull market. For sure, there'll probably be new people coming into the space. I have no idea. Bitcoin Cash, 470 bucks. Bitcoin, $40,000. $40, it's crazy. So why not jump on the Bitcoin Cash thinking it's going to pump? It's definitely possible. And looking at history, more than likely probable that it will get pumps. But overall and ultimately, these coins will pro probably continue their way down just as they have done since they were brought out as a new token after a hard fork. The highest Bitcoin cash ever was was 0.22 of a Bitcoin. So basically 22% worth of a Bitcoin. I, I also remember when this pump was going on in 2017 that it almost got to about 50% value of Bitcoin. And it was the whole hysteria about Bitcoin cash flipping Bitcoin that never eventuated and has struggled ever since. So remember that that's been nearly well, it's been three years of struggle street for Bitcoin Cash, while many of the other market participants have been pumping. We only have to look as far as Ethereum. So if there ever was a reason to not be in Bitcoin Cash and something else, this chart to me says it all. Even if we get pumps, the risk is much higher as we start to see the Bitcoin value decouple from the US dollar value right down through this part here. US dollar value is going to increase because Bitcoin value is increasing. 
but the Bitcoin value is dropping. All right, let's move on to our next, and that is EOS. This was one of my favorites in 2017 and 2018 because it wasn't trending with the market. It was trending at the opposite time. We can see in 2018, it ran into its all time high in May. At that time, the rest of the market was dumping. So this was a fantastic coin to hold at that time. I found it at 50 cents to a dollar. So I kind of fell in love with it. I did manage to sell close to the top because the whole market was dropping and it just felt like it was time to get out. Since that time, EOS has crashed really badly and broken its previous all time low against the Bitcoin value. So that is a very, very bad sign unless it can recover from here and try to get its way above that old low. It looks like EOS is probably done for now. The CEO has also moved on, Dan Larimer. So he's gone from the project and I think that has probably led to a lot of this extra <laughs> crashing on the market. So you can really see the pattern here. They've had their peaks through the last cycle and they are not continuing through this cycle, especially when the rest of the market is very, very positive. A couple more to go and then I have a special coin at the end which has managed to survive from the 2017 bull market and has come out pretty damn well. We know Ethereum is one of those, but this is something that I haven't seen anyone talking about, but it seems like a pretty decent deal and is connected with Cardano as well, at least IOHK. Tron is next up on the list and we have a couple more to go. Tron, again, favored by many noobs because of its low price, but I think we've gone over many coins now that you can really see what's going on here. Bitcoin value is dumping. Tron price is remaining relatively the same, somewhere around that three cents up to about four cents. And currently Bitcoin value is just dumping past not even one Satoshi. So this is really not holding up too well. And if you had your Bitcoin in here, you would have lost a lot, a lot of value against your own Bitcoin. So again, you can pretty much see it. Tron is not one that I'd want to be holding even though the news is sounding okay, there's a big community, it's not showing up in the chart. They are the facts that I look at and this is the data. I have to go with what's there as opposed to what people are saying and believing and feeling. And lastly, NEO, another one that I was a bag holder of. I thought this could be a token that I could accumulate during the bear market and we would see a big push during a altcoin season. Unfortunately, it has not happened. Fortunately, I got out think I broke even on this. Enough about my own portfolio. You can see the trend here. Bitcoin value has been crushed and had, it has crushed its previous lows that were set during 2019, 2018, 2020. It's just getting absolutely annihilated at this point in time. Dollar value remaining okay above that $10, but ultimately we know other projects like Aave or even any other smart contracts have all been going up a hell of a lot in Aave's case. Whereas Neo, Struggle Street, unfortunately, I think this is going to continue for these sorts of tokens. So that's our eight cryptocurrencies and their pattern to look out for rather than getting sucked into these during the next bull market. So keep a lookout for that. And if that starts to happen on your own cryptocurrency, just know that it can go a lot further than you can imagine. You can see that there were some lows and then it started to level out. Then there were more lows leveling out, climbing up more lows, more lows, leveling out, and it just goes on and on and on. So remember, it's not always about buying the dip because sometimes you're trying to catch a falling knife and this knife can slice your hands wide open and you will have no more hands left to play when the market picks up again. That's our eight coins and their patterns to look out for for your own altcoin portfolios. We want to stay away from this pattern. I said I would show you one cryptocurrency which has been doing very well during this past alt season and I haven't heard anyone talking about it. I do hold a fair bit of this and I've been staking it as well. So it's a great staking coin. That is none other than Horizon. We can see this shoot up. We got the market value increasing, the dollar value increasing and the Bitcoin value is increasing and breaking old highs. Now I'm bringing this up now, even though the dollar value is quite high because the it's Bitcoin value has just broken its old high. Now these old coins tend to move a bit slower. In terms of its dollar value, it's been doing very well. But in terms of Bitcoin value, it's been lagging the rest of the market. The low here was at around 
36,000 and we can see the top so far has been around 90,000. So it's not too bad. It's tripled its Bitcoin value from that bottom. I think this has a pretty decent future ahead of it, especially as it's partnered with IOHK, which is Input Output Hong Kong. And Charles Hoskinson is the CEO and founder of IOHK, who is obviously the founder of Cardano. So there is a little connection there with Cardano. I think there's got some, they've got some good things going on. Their partnership is around research and development. So they're obviously sharing data in that space. And Horizon is out there to be one of the better, more secure and private blockchains in the space. Check it out if you're interested in that. You can stake Horizon. Currently the staking rewards are about 7% per annum and to have your own node that you'd run, you need a 42 Zen. So the price isn't too high at the moment. To have a super node, you need around 500. So that's getting a little bit more up there in costs, but you can still run a secure node, which only requires 42 Zen. That's it guys, they're the eight coins and the patterns that show up when a coin looks like it's dying. It's not producing what the news is saying it is producing. Let me know if you enjoyed that. I thought I'd do something a little bit different as opposed to the top 10 this or the thousand X that. Let me know in the comments down below if you have your eye on any cryptocurrencies from the previous bull market, which look like they are doing quite well, like Zen. If you enjoy the content, let me know. Hit that subscribe button down below here and the bell notification icon. Like up the video. Let's get it to a thousand likes and subscribe because we're almost at 50,000. So let's go for 55,000. Thanks again, guys. 40% uh, off the course for another week or so. There's a few spots left. Link is in the description. So that's trading cryptocurrencies and long-term investing. Check it out. Link is down below. We're nearly full. So if you want to get in on that, do it soon and I'll catch you at the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done.